Just like your hero, Brandon. Adventure man. Blocking my view. Help. Come here, you. Mm. Mm, no. No. Yes. Yes. Mm. Oh. I'm I'm sorry, Brandon. I I didn't hear you. I just got back from shopping. Oh, thanks, Lois. Just put it down over there. Well, I can see somebody's doing their part to uh, boost the economy. That's just the person who stole me. There's a lot more in the car. Thank you. Oh, look at all this. This can't all be for me. Oh, yes, of course they are for you. Oh, darling, you're going to have to take some of them back. Oh, I can never do that. Come now, I think I'm going to get you your tree to bring to the guest house. I don't right? need my very own tree, baby. Of course you do. Come on, darling. Now, look at you. You keep bossing me around. You always do that. I'll never do it again with you. Come on. <laughs> Have we met? Not exactly, ma'am. But I saw you yesterday. Oh, I think we must have. No, I've only worked for Mr. Capwell for a few days. For heaven's sake. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Nothing. Lars, I have a job for you. We're going to take all of these packages down to the Capwell guest house because if Mrs. Armand is going to get her own tree, well, we're going to have to give her something to put under them. So? Whatever you say, Mrs. <laughs> Capwell. You're a love, Lars. <sighs> See you around. And not just in my daydreams, I hope. Mr. Capwell's suitcase? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, I didn't know he was going any place. Well, I don't believe he plans to be gone very long, Mrs. Capwell. Yes, he will. Uh, where's he going? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to say. Oh. Well, how about if I were to give you a Christmas bonus a few days early? Might that have some effect on your liver? Mrs. Capwell, I really shouldn't accept this. What's wrong with having the best Christmas of your life, Lars? You deserve it, don't you? And I deserve to know where my husband's going. I'm taking his bag to his private plane. Plane? But where is he going? I really don't know. <laughs> 